Hi, I'm Terry and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project. I'm going to make just a sort of a generic hello card with the help of my Big Shot and some new products I've received. I'm going to start off with a piece of Cucumber Crush designer series paper and I am going to emboss it using the stars folder and this is going to become my card base. So I have my basic platform on tab one. I've got my bottom standard cutting pad. I'm going to put the the cardstock inside the embossing folder and I'm going to run it through the big shot. There we go. Sometimes you have to give it a little bit of a push to get it started. And that's going to create an interesting detail for the front of my card. There we go, hopefully you can see it. So I'm done with my standard platform. I'm going to bring in my magnetic platform and I'm going to be using that in a minute. But first, well no, actually I'll use it right now. I have a piece of cherry on top designer series paper and I'm going to use this square image. It's from a brand new set of thinlets that I got. They're designed for Project Life. They're called Paper Clips Thinlets. So I'm going to use two products out of this pack, but I'm going to use it on a card instead of on a Project Life pocket page. All right, I'm going to lay on the square thinlet and I'm going to die cut a window in the Cherry on Top Designer Series paper. So it is going to sit on front on the front of my card base just like that. And then I'm going to set up, get set up, I'm going to do a bit of stamping and I'm going to show you another framelit or thinlet from that same pack uh, to create an interesting detail for the front of my card. Be right back. Alright, I'm back and I have this little thinlet from the same pack. And I have a piece of Watermelon Wonder cardstock. It's just a scrap piece I have left over from another project. And I'm going to die cut this little paper clip. So it looks like this. You've got a little piece that you pop out. And I'm going to set that aside for now. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. I've got a piece of scrap Whisper White cardstock, and I have this, um, this is the Life stamp set. It's a photopolymer. It's also designed for Project Life, but don't let that limit you. You can use all sorts of Project Life um, things on your cards as well. I'm going to use the Watermelon Wonder ink, and I'm going to stamp it down on the piece of Whisper White cardstock. And then I'm going to bring in my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And from the same set, I've got This Is The Life. So the um, circle image came from the This Is The Life stamp set. And this image says hello. And I'm going to stamp it down in the center like that and then I am going to bring in my circles framelits and I've got a circle that fits perfectly around the hello image and I'm going to die cut that out and then I'm ready almost ready to put my whole card together There we go. Now I'm going to just pop off of camera for a second and I'm going to clean my stamp that I just used, the hello stamp, and I'm going to show you something really neat you can do with it. So back in a moment again. All right, so I'm going to take my basic black Stampin' Write marker 
I'm going to color in just the word hello that's at the bottom of the stamped image and then I'm going to stamp that hello on the top of the little paper clip die cut. All right, now I am ready to put my entire card together. So I have my designer series paper and I'm going to use some snail adhesive. I'm going to bring in my silicone sheet here just in case I go off the edge. Okay. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of snail on the back of my paper clip and I'm going to tuck it under like that. Now I'm going to get this straight first. There we go. So I have the choice of leaving this open or I could use a little bit of my two-way glue pen and make sure that it's secure and flat, but I kind of like the pop-up image. And then also I have a circle uh, from Delightful Dijon that was lying around that I'm going to use up and I'm going to take my hello image that I stamped. I'm going to put a stamp and dimensional on the back of it. I'm going to pop it up off the delightful Dijon circle and then to finish off my card I'm going to use some snail and I'm going to put my circle image in the center of my card like so. And there we go, we've got a fun and really cute little generic hello card that was easy to create with the help of my Big Shot. For a complete listing of the supplies that I used and the measurement for all of the cardstock layers, hop on over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. While on my blog, don't miss out on my Creative Express catalog tour. You're welcome to hop on board monthly or every six months or for a six month period of time or for the whole year. Um, you, there's information about my Creative Express catalog tour over on my blog. You can ask me a question, you can place an order for the products I use to make this card, or you can just look at lots of other sample ideas. And don't forget to subscribe to my free customer newsletters. You can choose which ones you want to receive each month. I'm Terry. I am Nuts About Stamping. See you next time. Bye for now.